Well, to me, the 80s was all about the teen movies, you know, like uh, Breakfast Club, uh, Weird Science. Uh, what were some other ones out there? Uh, Pretty in Pink, you know some of those yes, movies? Yes, the hits. And for me, it was about the hair, mm -hmm. especially I get take like a tiny curling iron and roll those bangs tight and then <laughs> shellac the whole thing with Aquanet. <laughs> Celebrate Back. the decades best starting Friday with Rock of Ages. I had a party in the back for a little while right <laughs> back there awesome. in the late 80s. Omaha Community Playhouse Artistic Director Kimberly Faith Hickman joins us. That's Mallory right. Vallier plays Sherry. Good morning. Hi. Hi, it's nice morning. to see you both. I love that you're laughing because you know this decade was so much fun and what you're doing on stage represents the best. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. You've been yeah. studying this, you've been working on it, you're, you're presenting these uh, fantastic costumes, great music, Rock of Ages, what's this all about? Uh, Rock of Ages is a story about uh, two young dreamers, um, Drew and Sherry. Drew is a bartender that wants to be a rock star. Uh, Sherry is a young woman from the Midwest who moves to LA and wants to be an actress, and that's the role that Mallory plays. Uh -huh. And uh, the two meet and uh, have a relationship that then sort of goes awry and then they come back together. But uh, really it is about, it's about dreams and following your dreams mm -hmm. and um, finding the people that support you to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's mixed in with all kinds of great fashion and big hair and yeah. the best songs of the <laughs> 1980s yeah. decade. Well, Kimberly set it up there, but Mallory, how do you, we know how your character relates to the story, but how do you personally relate to Sherry? Yeah, well, you know, I'm a Midwest girl. Mm -hmm. um, and you know I'm an actor, so I could see if I had um, gone that route and gone to LA, you know, some of those things that happened to Sherry in the story could have mm -hmm. happened to me. Um, but you know, obviously, no. I'm in <laughs> Omaha. I'm married. I have a child. Were you Were you around in the '80s? Or? I was born in the '80s. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, doing this, I'm sure you studied the '80s a little bit. You oh. have some, I don't know Definitely. about memories, but. Um, there's got to be aspects you love of the 80s. Definitely. All those movies you mentioned and then yeah. the, the music in the show, it just That's rocks. That's it. It's yeah. so great. So what are we going to hear? Hit us with some of the hits that oh you're going to Oh um, gosh. A lot of Journey, mm -hmm. some Bon Jovi, mm -hmm. some White Snake, uh, some Poison. Oh, I know. Uh, yeah. I mean, the list is endless. There's just some really great ones. Uh, Twisted Sister, you know, any of the big hair bands that you can think of, their uh -huh. song wound up Twisted in the show. Twisted Sister. Yeah. 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 And it's on. amazing, yeah. the, the yes. plot of the yes. story. What were you going to say, Come on, yeah, that's all in you guys, there. That's in there? Yes. That's in there. Oh, yeah. And Maybe I think rocks. it's interesting, Kimberly, because you're the artistic director, but you're also the director and you're the yeah. choreographer yes. as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. So how does that all tie together? How, what's that you know, process um, like? It's really fun. I, I love this show. It's one of my favorite shows. I've seen it a bunch of times when I was living in New York. And, um, you know, it's a great, it's just a great story. Mm -hmm. And it's fun to, I grew up as a dancer and I grew up in the 80s and I loved this music when I was a kid. And so um, for me, it's a really easy thing to jump into. And mm -hmm. uh, I love dancing and I love this, like, the style of dancing from this decade with mm -hmm. the, the women and the hair and the music videos, you know, from yes. that back in the day. Very distinct. Yeah, very that distinct. Was. Yeah. Very yes. distinct. Yeah. So it's fun to dive back into those music videos. And and what you're saying for that. people coming to see it, they want to dive back into it as well. If they've got the acid washed jeans or like the neon sweatshirt off the shoulder, or the big earrings, whatever it is, do you see people dress up for this show? Would you encourage that? Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. We definitely encourage it. Um, the Actors are going to be hanging out in the crowd before the show and during intermission. Mm -hmm. um, we have, uh, they drink wine coolers in the show. Uh -huh. We're selling wine coolers at the bar. Like it's, it's a really great interactive experience um, before the show. And then during the show, uh, you know, be careful where you sit because the actors are in the aisles <laughs> and it's just a big party. Uh -huh. So if you come, you should expect to have nothing but a good time. Uh -huh. yeah. yes. uh, Mallory, there's some suggestive behavior in this, some mischievous oh, stuff yes. going on and maybe some language, right? Mm. Well, who do you recommend see this show? Is there yeah, an age we're range? saying it's PG-13. Yeah. I mean, there's some suggestive things, as you're saying. Mm -hmm. um, like what? Uh, some stripper <laughs> scenes. Oh, some stripper scenes. Yeah, okay. No nudity Not or anything like no. that. No. But yeah. definitely no. some language and some suggestive drug use. Yeah, yeah. yeah. comedic right. Drink. suggestive right. drug right. use. Yeah. 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 Funny. But you're not bringing your yeah. seven-year-old and then I would not expecting. bring a seven-year-old, yeah. right. no. I would say, um, you know, high school and up is appropriate. Mm -hmm. And, you know, whatever parents feel comfortable with, yeah. obviously it's their decision. But, um, but yeah, just we want them to know that it's not it's not what we would call a family show uh -huh. unless you're cool with your family <laughs> listening to some <laughs> of that. Put it out there so you know. Exactly. How long is this show running at Omaha Community Playhouse? We open March 3rd on Friday and then we close April 2nd. So you mm -hmm. have five weekends to come check it out. Uh -huh. um, and our performances are Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday nights and Sunday afternoons. Um, well, we've got a special for tickets for one of those days, March 8th. 
Fantastic. Right? So cool. listen to this, guys. $10 for tickets for that show. Um, but you've got to go to the box office at Omaha Community Playhouse after uh, four o'clock that day mm -hmm. to claim your tickets. But it's great savings there, subject to availability. So if there's a stampede of people on the eighth and you're at the back <laughs> of the line, we can't guarantee that mm -hmm. you're getting those ten dollar tickets. But otherwise, let's show you the information so you can plan to see Rock of Ages starting March 3rd and then running through April 2nd. Of course, you know where to find the Playhouse, 69th and Cass. And then online, it's omahaplayhouse.com. And Mallory, I saw a couple pictures of you um, on, on, this, on the set there, but mm -hmm. your hair was a little different. Yes. <laughs> right? yeah, have you part in the feathering. Have yeah. you taken a liking to that style of hair? You might you might uh, wander out in public like that? Probably not. What? <laughs> yeah, you know, honestly, I go and pick up my son from daycare, and sometimes in, I'm in the makeup and the hair, and I just feel ridiculous. <laughs> it's just so no. much hairspray. No, no, embrace it. Embrace uh, the big so hair. funny. I will on stage. Okay. <laughs> awesome. So nice to meet both of you. Thank you, you, and have a great run. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. Hey, it's traveling.